We know you try hard to eat well for yourself and your family, and we want to help. So we're saving you a trip to a nutritionist and bringing a healthy eating plan to you. Stephanie Parker is a registered dietitian, and she's sharing her plan for nutritious eating. So Stephanie, what is your main goal with this plan? What are we looking at as kind of an overarching principle? A couple of goals, obviously to eat healthy, feel good, but also enjoy this time of year. It's such a fun time of year to eat well. It is a fun time of year, and especially when I look at your steps. So you're gonna walk us through some of these eating strategies. Okay. And the first one you say is grow your own veggies. Yes, grow your own veggies. So there, we know there are lots of reasons that are fun to grow vegetables, right? Especially with kids, as you can see them grow. But when it comes to nutrition, it's actually more nutritious. So those vegetables in the grocery store are still great and have vitamins and minerals, but as soon as they're picked, those, nutrient, uh, those nutrients start to decompose over time. So if you can go out in your garden and pick your tomato and eat it, right there, that is the most nutrition you can possibly get out of a tomato. So grow your own veggies, so fun, great for so many reasons, but nutritionally, it's gonna be the best as well. Okay, good to know. So if you're a gardener, this is a great thing for you. And if not, then don't be discouraged because your next step is? Yes, so in, in, uh, with, with this time of year, there are fruits and vegetables everywhere, right? So in your garden or in the store, they're good prices, um, it's the season. So there's no excuse not to include fruits and vegetables with every meal. I like a fruit breakfast, lunch, dinner, and vegetables. Try to put them in an omelet maybe in the morning. Uh, lunchtime is so easy with bagged salads now. Just have a salad with lunch, it takes two minutes, right? Put your lettuce in there, put a can of salmon or tuna on there with some apples, some nuts, and some dressing. At right, dinner time, uh, I like to emphasize both a non-starchy vegetable that, you know, all the greens you hear about, broccoli, green beans, and then also a starchy vegetable, corn, corn on the cob, uh, potatoes, sweet potatoes, get both in there because they're both nutritious. Okay, you're making these vegetables sound more and more attractive. <laughs> and I will say, you know, it, it is easier and easier to eat vegetables because sometimes you can buy them. If you're a person who doesn't have time, I think those are people who usually complain about that. You can buy the pre-cut. I mean, right. you can kind of get so many now. easy options. Really for sure. easy options. Yes. Okay, moving to your next step, you say grill. Grill, yes, it's such a fun time of year to be outside, oh, right? And is. use your grill. And if you're craving a burger and if you're craving fries, then just make it at home. It's going to be so much more healthy if you get a sweet potato and cut it up, put some seasonings on it grill it and you can have some sweet potato fries. Still, still fairly <laughs> healthy, it's gonna be a lot healthier, even your burger at home. It's gonna be healthier than pulling through the drive-through. So, and there's so many other things you can grill too. Just, your imagination is the limit, right? There's zucchini, there's pineapple, peppers, onions, so many things. So don't just kind of think hot dogs, hamburgers are the only things I can grill. Fun and a really good reminder that, that you can reach beyond the burgers to put on the grill. Yes. Yeah, we love doing just, uh, um, I'm blanking on the name, but- Kebabs? Yes, like kebabs. A chicken kebabs like the sure. With your pineapple and yes. the onions, yeah. Yes. Those are so good in the summer too. I love that, mixing that up a little bit. Great. Okay, tell us about your next tip. So sometimes this time of year, it's just kind of the habit that people get to the end of the day and it's like ice cream, right? Just <laughs> ice cream at the end of every night because it's hot outside or starting totally. to get there. I thought the heat was a free pass for ice cream. <laughs> Exactly, God. that's what people think. But, uh, you know, there's times for ice cream, but there's some other options too that can satisfy a sweet tooth and can stay a little more in the nutritional bounds we're looking for. Okay, so what do you so recommend? So, watermelon is a good classic one. Yeah, Often, so a sweet tooth is thirsty as well. So, but even a trail mix or I know Go-Gurts are or marketed to kids, but throw one of those in the freezer, and that's like that's like an ice cream at less than 100 calories, and a little more satisfying, in my opinion. Or just a mini treat, but it doesn't have to be a big bowl of ice cream every night in the in the summertime. That's a good idea and good reminder that we can reach for some of these other things that are still cold, that may be less caloric, less sugary, something like that. Exactly. Or have something else in them, I guess. For sure. Okay, now your last tip is that we should really celebrate, but don't overindulge. So yes. don't get rid of everything. Tell yes. us about that. So keep holidays to holidays. And what I mean by that is this time of year, it seems like there's every little excuse to celebrate, right? Every weekend is another <laughs> party or another, you know, something to go to that's a big barbecue with burgers and fries or, um, you know, potato salad and tons of desserts everywhere. But, and, and those things are fine, but let's keep it, you know, keep Memorial Day to Memorial Day. Let's keep 4th of July on 4th of July. And in between, we can have healthier food. And, and if, if you are going to a party and it's not a time you want to overindulge, you feel like you've overindulged too much, uh, bring something a little bit healthier. You know, bring a, bring a, a salad or bring, uh, you know, do fish tacos or something instead of just kind of the standard barbecue fare that's so prevalent in the summertime.
Okay, I love that. That's such a good recommendation because for a lot of these events, you are going to be bringing something, right? You don't come empty handed. So right. you make the healthy choice. You decide what you're going to bring and choose one of these yes. options. And more often than not, I find people thank you when you, when you go to these things because they're, they're wanting to eat healthy too. I mean, yes, we want to have our treats, but when you go and there's just no healthy options, it's kind of like, oh, again, you know, I need to, I guess this is what I have to eat. But if there are some healthy options, people are kind of relieved. People are going to reach for those. That's such a good point. Can where can viewers go to find out more nutrition advice? So you can reach me through Intermountain Salt Lake Clinic uh, uh, at the Live Well Center. It's on the fourth floor of the Salt Lake Clinic. And we see patients for nutrition counseling. We see body composition, all kinds of it. We do an executive health exam. The number for that is 385-282-2700. Awesome. Thank you so much. Great tips. It's really appreciated. You're welcome.